Hey everybody, it's Haley. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to show you a very quick, very easy uh, bathroom upcycle DIY. Copper, you ready to do this? I swear I don't stage him here to be in my videos. He's literally just always by my side, so he's gonna be my crafting mascot. You Just a couple things that you need. Um, I had this can of Annie Sloan left over from when I redid my son's bedroom furniture. Um, literally a little goes such a long way, but they do make them in small ones if you're just gonna be doing a small project like the one that I am going to be doing today. You will need tape if your mirror doesn't come off. I got really lucky with the one that I scored at Goodwill and on the back, the brackets come off kind of like a picture frame so I can take the glass completely out. It's gonna be so amazing, but don't bank on that because I've honestly never seen one like this. You will need a drill bit for however big you are going to mount because something like this, you don't want it to fall and obviously shatter, that would be horrible. You're gonna need a drill with whatever drill bit is compatible with the screws that you buy. Um, a chalk paint brush. They get they have them really cheap on Amazon. I invested in a Dixie Bell. Okay, so once I am done removing the back or taping off the front, depending on what your mirror ends up looking like, I am going to flip it over and inspect it for any nicks or dings that I may need to correct before I start painting. Since I am going to be distressing this one a little bit, it's not such an issue. I will just cover it in paint, but as the one you see on the outer edge, it might be a good idea to take a light sandpaper too, just to get rid of the raw edge. So whenever you are ready to paint, there really is no right or wrong way to do this. I am just going to start by adding a pretty generous layer and I'm going to make sure I get it in the nooks and crannies and you'll see why with my next technique. I am distressing this one but I also think it would look really cute if you just completely covered it in paint and left it clean. With this mirror specifically, I'm going to do mine in a couple of sections because of the wipe away technique that I'm going to do to give it the sort of distressed, modern, farmhouse, you know, vintage style that everyone goes for nowadays. So I'm taking a clean rag and I'm going to just wipe very lightly. That way it leaves marks and it doesn't look so new. And as you can see, the raw wood kind of peekaboos a little bit, which I like a lot. Okay, so now I'm just going to finish up the entire mirror and we can move on to the last step, which is hanging. And I'm going to rely a lot on my husband to help me with this to make sure I get it straight. So now I'm just finishing up making my last couple wipes to get the distressed feel that I'm going for and I love this technique because there's really no perfect way to do it. It's literally just wiping and seeing what you get. So 
So my husband had already taken the mirror off because we didn't know how hard it would be. It turned out to be super, super easy. So now he's just removing the brackets and I'm going to touch up with a little bit of paint. So before I commit to how high or low I want to put it, I'm just going to hold it up and kind of get a feel because it is a little bit smaller than the mirror that our house um, was built with. So for this step, I required my husband's help. Um, and I think I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video that you will definitely need a leveler. It just makes things so much easier. I am really bad when I hang things by myself, or I used to be. I would just try to eyeball it and I would end up with 30 screws in the wall and I would be frustrated and it would look like crap. So definitely take that step and make sure that you level it out before you commit. So this part is really funny to me. If you have a hammer, please use it. I am obviously lazy and didn't want to go get mine out of the craft room, but just so you know, the bottom of your drill works just as good. All right, so if you've made it this far, that is literally how easy it is. This whole project, the entire thing from start to finish took me less than an hour. And thank God for teamwork. I'm just gonna show you the completed finished project. A couple months ago, I got these shelves from Hobby Lobby and they were just plain raw wood. And all I did was put a couple of coats of driftwood by Minwax stain on them. And I also made a couple signs and just put some cute knickknacks on there and I'm gonna flip it around and show you the finished mirror I honestly think it just ties in so perfectly and I am very very happy literally ten dollars some leftover paint and about an hour of my time and it completely transforms the room I hope you guys like the video please like and subscribe